Cones, lots of them, perhaps as far as the eye can see, sitting, waiting silently on the city streets. Where do they come from, these fluorescent orange rubber cone creatures? Well, I think they come from some distant planet. That might not be too far off the mark. After all, they seem to have appeared very quickly, virtually overnight. And the things are everywhere. We find them in homes, uh, we find them in yards, we find them on the street, we find them everywhere. People everywhere are pondering these silent orange visitors, sometimes raising deep philosophical issues about the relationship between man and cone. They're not cuddly or anything, they just sit there. <laughs> <It's> boring. <laughs> What would you buy an orange cone creature for its birthday? <laughs> Another orange cone, I suppose. If you had a sister, would you let her date an orange cone creature? No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> They're kind of ugly. They're my friends. They're your friends? Oh, you bet. It keeps us away from the car creatures. But are they really friendly? While it seems the orange cone creatures stay in one place, we managed to photograph a number of the cones as they began to move from one location. This unpredictable migration of the cone creatures can pose a hazard to humans. This cone creatures jumped out in front of my car. What happened? I had to, I had to make an evasive move, move to the right. It wasn't a very pretty sight, was it? No, not a very pretty sight at all. What should the public do? Uh, what advice would you give them if they should encounter an orange cone creature wandering around? Uh, go around it. Perhaps that is the only option we have, as more and more of our streets are turned into meeting places for orange cone creatures. These invaders have already divided the traffic in town. Are people next? Will the ominous orange objects start appearing on sidewalks and in driveways? The cone creatures have begun their slow, insidious plot to infiltrate and take over our way of life. Already, they are directing where we shall drive, herding drivers into different lanes. We must find a way to stop the invasion of these orange cone creatures before it's too late, before we are all subservient to their ways and completely indoctrinated into their culture. Keith Darnay reporting.